Hello, well, it's the first Saturday out of lockdown and it's Locktail 65, the Blue Hawaii. Now we are moving out of the older cocktails and into the newer ones and uh, I don't know whether they get more kitsch or more colorful or sweeter or what happens sort of from the 1950s through to sort of the, the second half of the, uh, the 20th century, but uh, I guess we're about to find out. And this is our first uh, blue cocktail with uh, blue curacao. And I think a lot of us look down on these cocktails now. We really shouldn't. Um, this particular cocktail was invented um, by Harry Yee in, uh, in 1957 when the um, liqueur rep for Bowles asked him to make a cocktail using the new blue curacao. And uh, Harry, as sort of was his way, um, was in the process of inventing tropical drinks. Uh, when he started working at the Hawaiian Village Hotel in 1952 as head bartender, when there are only 100,000 tourists to Hawaii a year, there really wasn't a tropical drink uh, culture in any sort of uh, contemporary uh, Western understanding of what that would actually mean. So bartenders like uh, Harry Yee and Trader Vic and uh, and Don Beach were basically inventing this whole uh, tropical drink culture, which we now, uh, I guess we now know and, and understand, along with the zombie and the Mai Tai and all of these, uh, these cocktails. So this is truly a classic. Um, his recipe uh, calls for slightly less alcohol than the one that I'm gonna do, but I'll put his exact recipe on the, uh, on the website. For some customers, he made it blended. For other customers, he made it shaken and then poured over um, crushed ice. It really de depended on the preference of the customer rather than a specific mix for the drink. So let's make the uh, Blue Hawaii. Taken the name from the uh, 1937 film Waikiki Wedding starring uh, Bing Crosby. Bing Crosby, not any other uh, Blue Hawaii and not to be confused with the Blue Hawaiian drink which contains uh, coconut this this doesn't this is a azure blue clean water that's how it should look when i finish making it so we're starting with um light rum it was harry Yee's recommendation that you use puerto rican rum and cardi is and light one to three years age so uh let's go with 45 mils of bacardi carta blanca white rum harry himself didn't drink rum he uh he preferred cognac um and something really important was born in 1918 still alive harry yee is still alive at 103 years of age right now so a bartending legend still with us at 103 years of age uh 45 mils of vodka i'm using this grain kettle one it's uh not too expensive pretty easy to uh to mix in a cocktail like this and a pretty underrated vodka uh, in my view, but whatever, whatever vodka you've got around is fine. Now it doesn't use, <laughs> probably to the liqueur sales person's chagrin, it doesn't use a lot of Bowles um, Blue Curacao. Uh, no offense to Blue Curacao, but probably one of the reasons why it's still an okay cocktail. So we only want 15 mils of the uh, Blue Curacao, and I guess if you're trying to be authentic with the recipe, you have to be authentic with the product. So it's Bowles uh, Blue Curacao if you, can, uh, if you can manage it. Then 90 mils of freshly squeezed pineapple juice. All these cocktails are called for pineapple juice. You've got to go and squeeze it yourself just before you make them. There's really no substitute for, uh, for freshly squeezed pineapple juice. And then also 30 mils of sweet and sour or sweet and sour mix or sour mix, whatever it goes by. Again, don't buy that make it it's a third lime juice a third lemon juice and a third um, simple syrup which also you make yourself so i need 15 mils of um of freshly squeezed lime juice i need 15 mils of freshly squeezed lemon juice and i need 15 mils of homemade sugar syrup Two parts sugar to one part water. And there we have it, they're the ingredients. The rum, the vodka, the blue curacao, the sweet and sour lemon, uh, lime and sugar syrup, or simple syrup, and 90 mils of freshly squeezed um, pineapple juice. Now you can blend this, 
uh, if, that's the, if that's what you're uh, going for in terms of the mix, or you can shake it, get it nice and cold. Uh, obviously, if you've chilled those ingredients down before, that makes it easier, but I, that pineapple was pretty cold, but it, was, uh, it, it hadn't been refrigerated. I, I really had just squeezed it just before making uh, this cocktail. Couldn't be any fresher. And now this should be an azure blue color, so uh, let's see what we get. Uh, normally into a hurricane glass, or at least sort of around a 400, 450 mil glass. Uh, this is more a zombie glass than a hurricane glass, but uh, I guess it's still in the, uh, in the um, tropical drinks uh, theme. Don't seem to have got quite as much out of that blue curacao as, um, as we might have uh, expected. Um, so I'm half tempted that when I, uh, when I photograph this and post it, I'm gonna play around with the um, blue curacao mo uh, model. I do have a little bit more rum and a little bit more vodka and a little bit more of the um, sweet and sour syrup than, than Harry Yee's original recipe. So that might be why we're not getting the color exactly where we want, but I was working to the size of the, uh, of the glass here. So uh, when you see the photo on the website, you might notice it might, uh, I might have taken that, uh, that blue curacao up to the same proportion, which will take it up to about um, three quarters of a shot. So about 22 and a half mils or thereabouts, which should have just introduced that hint more blue. Garnish with a pineapple slice um, and anything else that makes it tropical. Umbrellas, if you like, maraschino cherry. I've got a little bit of uh, orange peel on here as well. And there you have it. A Harry Yee 1957. Blue Hawaii. That's a pretty good drink. It's very sweet, so you, you really want a tropical sweet drink, but loaded up with lots of ice in the glass on a really hot day, that's gonna make uh, that's gonna make somebody very happy. Anyway, I hope you have a good Saturday night in Sydney or wherever you are. Uh, we'll see you for uh, the next one, which is again, we're moving into um, into the more contemporary era and it'll be uh, be a first as well the mudslide bye for now